Okay, cool. We're gonna move on to crazier stuff now. Quadratics. Probably other types of equations if you so wish. Vertex form, which just disappeared. Vertex form. Intercept form. Standard form. And these are your base forms that you're going to need just for this class. There's probably more forms out there. And you can see that their base equations are f of x equals a x minus h squared plus k intercept form. I'm sorry about my handwriting not being straight on the line. You can see here it's very slanted. It's like curvy here. I feel like it's fine. Because you're not here for my good handwriting, you're good you're here to learn math. Intercept form. Hold on. I need more space. You go over there. You go over there. Intercept form. F of x equal to a x. I forget the letter, so I'm just gonna put um well, let's find, let's just do some random letters. P x plus R. What do the letters mean? Absolutely nothing. Because I forget what they're supposed to stand. What the letters are supposed to be and what they're supposed to stand for. So, you know. I forget the letters. I'll probably find out later and put it in the description of the video. And then this one is AX squared plus BX plus C. Now standard form is probably the most versatile. I mean all the other ones are versatile of course you know this one can be turned into square roots but this one you can just keep adding on you can go ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d so on and so forth um intercept form you can just keep on adding intercepts um i'm not gonna write that vertex form you can just change this over here you can go ax ax minus h3 plus k and you'll also notice that this is square root function x minus h plus k so let's talk about the parts of them because that's what you're here for right you want to understand the parts of them what they do in all of these a is your vertical stretch So over here, vertex form is good for finding the vertex, hence the name vertex form. The um, vertical stretch, of course, but your H is your horizontal shift. Take note here of the minus H. Right, so if your h is 3, then it'll be minus 3, which is to the left, of course. And k, here on my screen, k is equal to your vertical shift. And why it's called vertex form is if you find your horizontal shift and your vertical shift, you'll notice that those are your vertex. So for example, in an equation, the function of x is equal to 2 
x minus 3 squared plus 5. Your vertex is at minus 3, 5. It's right here and right here. Intercept form. Um, what can I really say? One of these and one of these are your intercepts, your x-intercepts. So, for example, um, in an equation, function of x is equal to 2 again. This time let's go x plus 1, x minus 5. If you, uh, if you say that the function of x is equal to 0, 0 equals 2 x plus 1 x minus 5 then you can find your intercepts by canceling out the 2 because it's not important yeah it's not important I'm pretty sure yeah no because 0 divided by 2 is nothing right so and then you find this equals 0 this equals 0 and one of your intercepts will be negative 1, 0. And your other x-intercept will be negative positive 5, 0. Saw nothing. And your standard form. I mean, your vertical stretch is still there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um... If you really want to use standard form, this is good for the quadratic equation. Do you know the quadratic equation? I don't care. I'm going to tell it to you anyways, whether you know it or not. We're going to go back to intercept form in a minute because that has a lot of interesting stuff with it. Standard form, um, or your quadratic equation, minus b over 2a plus minus, oh, wait, 0 equals. Um, square root of b squared minus 4ac to a. I could be mistaken on that, but I bet I'm not. It might be b squared minus, or b squared plus 4ac. It's something really close to this. I swear this is quadratic formula. Oh, yeah, this is it. Okay, yeah. And if you look carefully, you'll notice there's an A, A, a B, a B, a C, single C. So if we had a standard form equation of a function of x is equal to 5x squared plus 3x plus 1, you should be able to put 2 and 2 together. 0 equals negative 3 over 2 times 5 plus minus the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 5 times 1 over 2 over or 2 times 5. I'm not going to do that for you. You can solve it on your own time. Just know that when you get to this point, this is a plus this and a minus this two answers why because here comes the rule of quadratics ready 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 every I need to look it up watch watch as I don't have been watch as I don't even have it written down because that's my luck Up, bip, bam, boom, bam, bim. That is not on here. It's not on here. Right. I believe I didn't write it down anywhere. I didn't write it down anywhere. Did I write it down here? I bet I didn't write it down here either. I 
I didn't. Yo, I'm useless. But you know what? It's fine, because I can give you the basic idea of the rule, right? Every quadratic has two x-intercepts. Even those that might look like this. You're like, wait, that doesn't cross anywhere on this. You're right. It says imaginary numbers. Which is where the fun begins with the intercept form. Should I go in depth with that? I don't know. I don't know if you've done it in your class yet. Because I don't know if you have Mr. God Secondary Math 3. Where we have very much gone in depth with that. And we have tested on it. I don't know if you guys have. In whatever class you're in. We're just gonna... I'm just gonna slowly graze into it, you know? Um... Do I want to do that, actually? If you want that, how about this? If you want that, keep watching. We're just going to go into it. If you don't know anything about that, if you've never heard of it before this year, you might have heard of it last year because I had the same class as you. So I know that I saw it. I'm also making this public, so, you know, you're the only person that was in my class that's probably going to see this. The rest of the public internet probably wouldn't have had class with me last year. But it's fine. If I can find a good equation. What's a good equation? What's something fun we can do? I'm going to do something fun. I know I do. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not go into that. That's gonna take a really long time. If you want me to go into that, I'll go into that. But. What else did I want? I think that's the only thing I wanted to do with the intercept form. Let's show them in action. How about that? We can do that. That are very straight lines here. There's no line tool for whatever reason. Why? Don't ask me. I just said I don't know why. I really hate the accuracy of this pen. Because sometimes it gives me these kind of weird wiggles. I swear I'm not shaking that much. I may be running off of like three hours of sleep. But that doesn't mean I'm that shaky. Do this in a different color so you can see it. One, one, two, three, four, two. There's not going to be any stretch on this because I don't feel like it. Actually, it would probably be a better example if I did give it a stretch, so we're gonna just do that. Close enough. Pretend like it was always like that, you know? You can now really see how shaky my lines were. It's great. Um, first one, vertex form. Vertex form. Where's our vertex? Well, the vertex is the dot right here which is zero, one. So our vertex form, which is function of x equals a, x minus h squared plus k. Vertex form. Well, it's function of x equal to, you can see this vertical stretch of two because right here this is at two one 
directory. Um, x minus our vertical shift of 0, so that can just be plus 0. Or, want to be fancy? It won't be there at all because, you know, there was no horizontal shift. Kids. Um, and it will be shifted up one. Let's do a more entertaining one because this one is only good for the vertex form. I literally can't write any other forms with this. Let's draw straight the line this time. Let's have the line disappear halfway during drawing, you know? Oh, what is happening? Oh, what is happening? Are we, are we good? Okay. Try that again. That's not a straight line. Those aren't evenly spaced. You know, if I got some line paper, that'd be really nice, but like I said in the exponential function video, you can't see crap if I put the phone on a, my fake Lego tripod that I made because I needed to stream drawing because my stream failed, or my Valorant stream failed. So I was like, eh, let's do something real quick. Let's build a tripod. Try to stream valve. Yeah, try to stream drawing instead. Two, four, six, eight. It's not passing through that point, but pretend like it is. All right, let's start from the top again. Vertex form. I'm not writing it out again because I wrote it down twice. You can go back in the video. This is YouTube. I'm the one being inconvenienced here, not you. Um, function of x, your stretch of 2, um, which you can see here because this is 2. Um, X shifted over three. So X plus three because it's minus H, right? And minus minus uh, or something subtracted a negative number is positive. Kind of, do you, do you get what I'm saying? Like one minus minus one, it's actually one plus one. This is what I'm trying to say squared because it's a quadratic um, this is shifted down 4 down 4 cool um, yeah and then we're going to intercept form or intercept They're not a nice number. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make another new graph. This time we're not writing the vortex form again because we've just gone through it twice. You don't need to learn it twice. I feel like it's fine. If you don't know the vertex form at this point, just go back and watch the videos again or comment or message me if you know how to message me. The public will know how to. The one person I'm making this for will. I'm not a simp. I just want to make that clear. Just a good friend. Um, bam. Uh, bam. One, two, three, four. This should be there. This should be there. It's not passing through the points, it's fine. 
Intercept form. Yeah. F of X. I'm still in red pen. F of X. F of X. There we go. It's equal to A. X plus that number. I forget what the letters I put are. Let's go um Z. Because that totally doesn't break everything because Z is an actual plane. To pretend it's a variable. Plus P. Which I'm also pretty sure stands for something. But it's fine. Where are our intercepts? They're at negative one, zero, and one, two, three, four, five, and negative five, zero. That's correct. Yes. And our stretch we have no stretch. See right here, there's no stretch. We get f of x is equal to a, which doesn't exist, x, and then it's going to be x minus, excuse me, x minus p. That's an important detail. So, to get here, x plus 1. I'm going to explain in a second why that is. Because we're going to solve it now. We'll plug in 0 for f of x. 0 equals x plus 1 x plus 5. Well, what plus 1 equals 0? Negative 1. What plus 5 equals 0? Negative 5. Bam, bam. Here's your explanation. Standard form. Now listen, I may be good at math, but I can look at a graph and tell you what it is in standard form. Now if you know how to convert between your different forms, this will help a lot. But I think one of the easiest ways was to use that, the intercept form. Because the intercept form and the vertex form our, well, the vertex form is not completely simplified, but the intercept form is simplified. Right? One, so x my, plus one, x plus five. Convert to standard form. Well, times it together. Let's use our rainbow pen here. Times this by this, and this by this. Another rainbow pen. Which is a little bit too colorful for you to see what it is. Multiply those and those. You get x squared plus 5x plus 1x plus 5. And you know what that equals? Da 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 da. x squared plus 6x plus 5. Wait, that looks familiar to something. It almost looks like ax squared plus bx plus c. That's because this is standard form. Yeah, that's standard form. Vice versa, you can factor this. Yeah, you can factor this. Ready? Get your box. Whoa. Box. X squared. Plus five. So the things that need that go in this box. In this box need to add up to six X. Gee, I wonder if they're almost like five X and one X. Which means this is 5, 1, and x, and x. Wait, does that convert back to y equals x plus 5 times x plus 1? Yes, it does. That's exactly what it converts back to. Now, if you want to be mean to yourself, you can do, go and convert to the vertex form. 
why I wouldn't recommend this is because you have a graft right there and you can literally go, ooh, what's the vertex? It's right here. And get the vertex form. So I'm not gonna do that. Because we already practiced vertex form twice when I messed up twice. Was it three times? Is twice or three times? I messed up a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's the truth. It happened. But you know what is fine. That's all I'm gonna talk about. If you need a follow-up video on your imaginary zeros, zeros, right? Terminology here. Zeros are your x-intercepts, right? You know what the x-intercepts are, right? They cross the x-axis. So yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, let's do the outro. Let's do our YouTube channel outro. So guys, let's plug in, let's, let's plug time. The friend that I'm making this for, you can go away now. This is for the public eye. Watch this. Ready guys? Find me at the cosmic wanderer on YouTube. Let's do it on red. Uh oh. Uh oh. On YouTube. You can find me at the cosmic wanderer live on I can't really draw the twitch logo but I can try watch this ready twitch and uh, I'll sign off V Galaxy is fast. The cosmos are far. Wander to them. See you at the galaxies. Sure. No, let's go even greater. See you at the universe's edge. Just a little, just in the middle. Keep on wandering. Cosmonauts. I write slow, it's okay. I write fast in my notes, that's why I can't read them. Keep on wandering, cosmonauts. Yay! Just the end. Just get to stop recording. Up to recording turned out okay.
Is it still going? It's still going. That's fun. Hey, uh, person watching the video, whoever you are, uh, tell me when the video is over. Oh god, that's crashing. Tell me when the video is over, I'm just gonna chill here for a second. Meanwhile, you can see my beautiful, beautiful wallpaper. Is this still not done? Can this please stop? <laughs> 